Hi, Fire Signs. Welcome to your weekly energy reading for the 23rd through the 29th. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Going to take a look at love, life, and advice for you. A quick energy reading for the week. See what's going on. Please keep in mind, uh, it could be just messages that need to come out at this time. May not exactly um, happen in this week. It could just be the energy. So it could be just need could be just what you need to hear at this time. The messages you need to hear, please keep that in mind. So only take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. And uh, let's get started here for you fire signs. Welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whatever holidays you uh, celebrate. Happy holidays to you. All right. So if you're new, welcome, welcome. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. How to reach out for personal reading. Decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram also. Um, tons of stuff down there, so please feel free to check that out. So what's going on in love? The fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. I just had a card fly across the floor. So uh, let's see what we have here. We have Reach Out, which is the Three of Pentacles energy. So this is about working together, teamwork, collaboration, uh, reaching out, and learning and growing. So let's see. Three of Pentacle energy. What's on the bottom? Wow, two threes. Share the love, which is also about coming together and reuniting, celebrating, rejoicing. Share. So we got three, three. Wow. So this is really about uh, coming together and sharing. Coming together, sharing, working Collaborating, teamwork, working on things, putting in the effort. Wow, okay. All right, we're going to clarify with Tarot once we get all the messages. See what's going on for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped or donated, reached out for a personal reading or sent a gift. Or if you just subscribed. Thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. Truly, truly appreciate it. All right. So let's get life. What's going on in your life right now? Join in. Join in. And <laughs> how fitting is that? That over here we have Reach Out, Share the Love, which is all about teamwork, collaboration, people coming together, sharing, giving, receiving, reuniting, that whole energy. And now we have Join In. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Motivation. Hmm, joining in and motivation. Some may need mo motivation to join something here. Or by joining something, it's going to give you motivation to do something. So if you've been thinking about like joining a uh, social group or a motivational group or exercise group or something here, I think it's really going to give you a lot of motivation that you need in your life, whatever that means for you. So if you've been thinking about doing that, uh, you probably should. Uh, I think it may help you out a lot. And that's for the life, so that could be probably separate from over here. So let's see what we have for your advice for the week for the fire signs. Do ask if you're new and you do like how I read. You can check out my channel if you like what you see. You can subscribe. I do four readings a month, and they're all different. And I do these. I just started these energy uh, check-ins for the week. So check out the channel. You like what you see if you're new. You're well, more than welcome to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And you won't miss out on any readings. So what are the fire signs uh, advice for the week ahead? For the 23rd to the 29th or at this time. And we have seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made up of energy. And every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So, you know, maybe you could be seeking something here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out. And wow, and we just had seek. So some of you, I think, really need to do some deep uh, soul searching here. It's kind of the message I was getting 
with that. It's like going deep within and seeking your soul and doing that deep soul searching work. Um, the time is, this is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. So deep, deep soul searching here, getting rid of negative energy that is no longer serving you. And don't let the past of, in any way interfere with your happiness and your future and your peace and your tranquility moving forward. So, okay, somebody, some of you need to find that inner peace within yourself. All right, so let's see what's going on with the fire signs. The fire signs at this time, 23rd to the 29th. Can, we believe, can you believe the year is almost over? Wow, my cards are like flying everywhere. They're on fire. Okay, we have Page of Pentacles in reverse in the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So Page of Pentacles uh, is usually, you know, a, a secure, steady offer coming in here, but it's in reverse. And the Knight of Cups, you know, is an action card coming forward with um, a love offer or taking that actual movement forward in love. Somebody, I feel like, wants to reach out, share the love, and they want to move forward in love, but they're afraid to reach out. <sighs> wow, because I'm like dropping my stuff here. They're maybe very nervous energy. Afraid to reach out here and make some sort of stable offer with the Page of Pentacles. So let's see what else here. Magician manifesting a brand new beginning here. So the energy is here. Wow. Energy is here, but let's see. The lovers. Oh, wow. Well, soulmate energy there. Somebody wants to reach out for to a soulmate. Share the love. They feel the same way. They want to take that loving action forward and start this brand new beginning to manifest it forward. But it all starts... It's all going to start with a message here, but it's in reverse. So someone's hesitant about coming forward with that message. Ace of Swords. So truth, clarity, brand new beginning. Yeah, that's the communication. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse is that afraid to send that, that message out, to have this conversation, to have this communication, this truth, this clarity, uh, big epiphany, aha moment, that they're ready to reach out and share and build and grow and nurture and all that good energy, but stuck at the pen, stuck at the message coming in and sending that message. Um, all the energy is here. New beginning with the magician, new beginning with the Ace of Swords and the lover's soulmate energy. Um, and wanting to come take that action forward, but either they're stuck, some energy is holding them back and they're stuck for some reason and they can't send out that message with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Or uh, they're just afraid to. So if you know your person's situation, then uh, take it how it resonates for you. So let's see what this motivation is. Seven of Cups, yeah. Confusion over here. Somebody may need motivation to gain clarity, to make a decision in their life. Uh, could be about anything here. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So that's about, you know, working together, teamwork, collaboration. Maybe there's some groups through your work, uh, your career. Maybe there's some groups, um, you know, maybe your coworkers put together a group, a social group, or maybe they belong to social groups. And, you know, maybe you've been thinking about joining in and going out with, you know, the friends or coworkers and, you know, joining in in that. But maybe you've been, I don't know, kind of hesitant or reluctant to do that for some reason. Yeah, see, confused and reluctant, like does, don't know what to do. Should I? Shouldn't I? I don't know if I should. But um, I think you probably should. Ten of Wands. So laying down burdens here. Carrying a lot of burdens on your back. And I feel like whatever groups, what, whatever whatever here, um, I mean, they could go to Zumba. They could um, just, you know, go out once a week and have fun. I know whatever it is here, I think you need to join in. I think it's going to help uplift you, motivate you, help you to release burdens no longer serving you. I mean, it could be support groups. It could be anything. Yeah, 
help you to gain stability, independence, um, being safe, secure on your own, being able to take care of yourself, making decisions for yourself, not having to worry about burdens here. So some kind of social group I think will motivate you if you join in into the right direction, gaining stability in your life. And if you've been hesitant, confused, I don't know if I should, I don't know, you know, I think you should. That's, uh, that's what Spirit's telling you to say. It's telling you to do, <laughs> rather. So let's see um, for your advice, the Seek in Serenity. Ten of Cups to your own happiness, fulfillment, and joy. That is a happy home and family, but it can be self-fulfillment. You know, your own Ten of Cups if you're single. Um... And I feel like, or it could be, you know, in a home dynamic kind of energy also. Seeking out uh, fulfillment, happiness, joy. Page of Swords. So communication here um, may mean uh, some communication here. Let's see. The world. So starting out, ending out cycles, starting new cycles kind of energy. All right, let's get a couple more here. Seven of Wands. So, you know, being defensive on guard kind of energy, holding a stance, not, you know, fighting and not giving up about something here. Eight of Cups, but then walking away or walking to something more fulfilling. Wow, it's a lot of energy here. So, because you have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like some of you to find your own inner peace and sanity and serenity. Um, some of you may be thinking of communicating about some sort of commitment you're in, whether um, it's home, it's family, it's work or whatever. Maybe communication about closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle and like really defending your choice here. Some of you may be walking away from something here, maybe a relationship, maybe friendships, it may be uh, work, something I feel like you feel is needed to do so that you can continue to have your own fulfillment uh, and not have this energy around you. Because I think by leaving the circumstance, person, place, thing, whatever it is for you, it'll bring you much more uh, peace, happiness, serenity in your life. Wow, fire signs. Well, fire signs, I hope to see you next week in the next energy reading. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.